Father Tony Percy giving you a further update on Calvary Public Hospital, which was compulsory acquired by the ACT government, uh, not according to its standing orders or rule of law, on the 3rd of July 2023. They gave just six weeks notice. As a consequence of this action, the Federal Senate held an inquiry. We now know that the Minister had said to that Federal inquiry that the ACT government, she said, began the legislative work for the takeover in March 2023. We now know, through a freedom of information request by a journalist from the Canberra Times, this actually took place. They began the legislation, they began drafting the legislation in May 2022. So those two things are at variance. We had hoped that the uh, Federal Senate inquiry would force the ACT government to do its own inquiry, so to release more information about exactly what happened here. Unfortunately, the, the Federal Senate said no to that request. So there'll be no further inquiries. So we will now turn our attention to writing to federal, state and uh, territory and politicians seeking guarantees, written guarantees of all the institutions and their electorate. You'll hear more about this in a month's time after the vote for The Voice. The Voice referendum is coming up on the 14th of October. So we'll let that pass through and then I'll come back to you with a further update. Needless to say, as I said to you before, the two issues here are property rights, legitimate property rights for all Australians and secondly, religious freedom. What you now need to know is the Guardian newspaper has written three articles. They've gone on a fishing expedition, in fact, and they've written three articles against the 15 publicly funded Catholic hospitals around the country. So Melbourne, Brisbane, Sydney, all around the place. And they're putting forward this argument that, oh, well, people have been unable to get abortions because the Catholic hospitals won't do it. But of course, what we do know is that abortion is an elective procedure which is not done either in the Catholic public hospitals or in the other public hospitals run by the state. All abortions, most of them, the majority of abortions, unfortunately, are done in private clinics. So the argument that The Guardian is running is completely and utterly false. And again, it shows the bias against religion. Let me remind you, and I'll finish with this, let me remind you of the Australian Constitution, section 116 brilliantly written by the founders of the Constitution who were not really religious at all. Some of them were deists, they had a vague belief in God. Some were Christians, but not very strong. Most of them weren't religious men or women at all. But what they put in the Constitution is most important for this current debate, and it will be important going forward in the 21st century. That is, the Constitution says there will be no compulsion, excuse me, there will be no official religion, no compulsion in religion, no restriction on religion and no religious discrimination. Brilliant. That is, it's protecting the right of all Australians, whether they have faith or no faith, to search for the meaning of life. The first fundamental human right is the right to life and then follows the right to discover the meaning of life in and through communities, whether they happen to be religious or not. It's a most important right and we have to defend as I say, both these two rights, which have now become manifest and emerged out of the Calvary debacle, that is the right to legitimate property rights in our Federation and the right to religious freedom. So I'll speak to you again after the 14th of October.